Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in PUBG Season 6. A lot of stuff changed if I compare the Season 6 to the Season 1. So I decided to update my uh, video. So first of all, the first thing that you need to do is in the game mode section in Windows. Make sure that game mode is at off, really important. Also all those game bar stuff and the capture thing over there. Everything needs to be at off. You will lose a lot of performance if you're using that. Another thing that I recommend is the power plant. The power plant will not necessarily help you if you have a desktop. So if you're using right now balance from Windows, you're all fine. It's more for people who are using a, a laptop. Sometimes they have like some random um, plan from whatever HP, Dell, Acer, whatever you're, the brand of your laptop. And they're not necessarily very good when you're playing a video game. Even if you're plugged in the wall, sometimes you don't get 100% of the resources of your laptop when you're playing the game. So click advanced power setting. Make sure that you're using higher performance. This will help you a lot. So you're going to make sure that your GPU is running at 100% and your CPU also. Really important. Third thing. Um, it's the, in the... Uh, PUBG installation, right click on it, go to manage, browse local file, and here go to the search, write exe, write dot, sorry, dot exe, and search for it. You will have four execute over there. Normally with the biggest one, the 98 meg, you should be fine, but just do the four execute that you can see here. Click property, compatibility, make sure that disable full screen optimization is checked. And in change uh, IDPI settings, make sure override IDPI DPI scaling behavior is check. Press OK, press OK. You can do the same thing for the other ones. One more thing is your driver. So if you're using NVIDIA, make sure that you update your driver with the whatever GeForce experience or just go in the website. Same thing with AMD. Make sure you always use uh, the latest driver, sometimes like... PUBG is pushing an optimization and they're using like some whatever source code from NVIDIA in the driver. Uh, make sure that you always uh, keep your driver up to date. It will help you a lot. So now let's go inside of the game for the parameter. So first of all, in the graphics, the first thing that you need to remove is the Allied Auto Capture from NVIDIA. Don't use that. You will lose FPS. It will cause you stuttering and stuff like that. So just remove it. And honestly, all those... Uh, overlay, Discord overlay, uh, whatever, uh, NVIDIA overlay, Microsoft overlay. Don't use overlay. You will lose performance when you're playing a video games. Uh, display mode. Really important. Use full screen. You will lose FPS if you use borderless or window. Uh, for resol resolution, I'm using 1080p, but it's more like depending on your screen. So whatever screen, if you're playing 2K, uh, 720p, whatever. After all the changes I will show you, if you still don't get your 60, you will probably need to lower your res resolution if you want more performance. Lobby FPS cap, I don't use it, so unlimited because I have a 144 Hz screen, so I just do unlimited over there. In game FPS cap, I'm using a custom one, I'm using 144 uh, FPS to match my 144 Hz. Uh, I don't want to render more FPS because I don't want to. Uh, to um, like if you're if you want to for an example if you put this one at unlimited your uh, video card will always be in maximum you will generate more heat in your computer so it's less good and also maybe uh, I don't know uh, the, the because it's more uh, the heat is more spread in my case I will have less megahertz on my CPU because it will be other so just go with the number of hertz of your screen and match it after that, rendering, uh, render scale, use the 100, so 1 for 1, don't upscale it, you will lose a lot of FPS, and don't go too crazy with the downscale because the image quality will suck, uh, so honestly, uh, less than 90, it's pretty shitty, you will <laughs> not see anything, so just go with 100. FOV, if you're playing more, like at 103, uh, you will lose FPS because you're rendering more stuff in front of you. So, me, I think the good compromise for this game is 90 for performance and also your FPS. 
Anti-aliasing, first of all. Uh, put this one at very low. You will gain 2% for each bracket. I don't like the anti-aliasing anyway in this game. I feel the game is a bit blurry when I put this one at ultra. So very low is good. Yeah, you will see some line breaking and stuff. But it will not be blurry when you play. Post-processing, I'm putting this one at very low also. 2% for each bracket. So a nice increase over there. The biggest one is the shadow. The shadow, if you compare ultra versus very low, you can gain up to 15% in your FPS, so this one for sure go with very low. Texture I'm playing Ultra it really depend on your VRAM on your GPU, so if you have more than 4 gig, go with Ultra, if you have 3 gig, go with high or medium, 2 gig low and less than 2 gig, go with very low. Effect. Effect, honestly, you can put medium or even high, depending on your computer again. But me, I'm playing very low. I don't like effect when I'm playing a competitive game. And also, if you're playing a game and, I don't know, you're shooting, you're throwing a grenade, and when you see an explosion, you see a big drop in your FPS, it's probably because of the effects. So make sure that you're lowering this parameter. Foliage is very important, is a bit like Shadow. Uh, this one really important. If you compare Ultra to very low, you can gain, like, 12 to 14 percent in your fps so this parameter very important to move it down view distance is a bit tricky it will take a lot of resources on your computer but uh it's really important in the battle royale you want to see further in front of you so i'm playing at median but for sure if you have a laptop with an integrated video card or a very old pc go with something like low or very low it will help you a lot but if you have a better computer go higher with that because it can help you to perform it will help you with your game because you can spot people in front of you even further so really important sharpen v-sync and motion blur you don't want to use that in this game so the last three put those one at disable so that's about it guys just want to mention it doesn't change anything now if you change the engine.ini file so anyway they're pushing on server side and not using the local one so uh yeah don't touch that don't use those comment uh when you want to launch the game with the launcher in steam it doesn't work anymore also so you just can change your stuff here and make sure you optimize well your windows like i show you in uh the beginning of the video if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace